Hey, my name is Madeline Bailey and welcome to the BetterHelp Sessions. BetterHelp is an affordable online therapy with licensed therapists. I am super open about how transformative therapy has been in my life. So BetterHelp and I have teamed up to bring you these sessions. Let me introduce you to my first guest and friend, Lindsay Sterling. I'll take this red ribbon Stitch my heart together, it will heal Given time, it beats a strange rhythm But I still go on living when I don't get it right Don't beat myself about the things that didn't work out Least I can say is that I try I'll take this red ribbon Stitch my heart together and I know I'll be fine Remember all of the pain, was it all too much? Remember falling apart every time we touch? Remember going insane, but I'll never give up A heart that's been broken, a heart that's been loved Red, 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 ripping, red, 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 I'll red I'll take this lead pencil, make a different picture and I'll draw in a Smile, I'll take these sharp scissors Got a new heart out of paper, you know I'll make it mine Don't beat myself about the things that didn't work out Least I can say is that I tried I'll take this red ribbon Lie it on the pavement and I won't cross that line Remember all of the pain was it all too much Take this red ribbon, stitch my heart together, and I know I'll be fine. Remember all of the pain, was it all too much? Remember falling apart every time we touch? Remember going insane, but I'll never give up. so much for doing this with me. You are absolutely so talented, as you guys just heard. Lindsay is an absolutely amazing musician. She will bring you to tears with her violin skills, but somehow simultaneously make you want to get up and dance around the room at the same time. I don't know how it's possible, <laughs> but her vibrant personality will bring color to your life. She's crushing it on YouTube and TikTok, so check her out. She has a lot of amazing music. Oh, um, thank you, Madeline. <laughs> and right back at you. I know that the life of a musician online, on social media, can look glamorous. And at times, it is. <laughs> it can, it can be but, a lot of fun, but. <laughs> yes, but, you know, we're still going through the same things that all humans go through and navigating life and emotion and heartbreak. And three years ago, we actually sat down to have, a, for me, a very life-changing conversation about grief and loss. And you were so open and vulnerable about having lost both your your father and your best friend all in one year. How are you now? How is your mental space? How are you feeling? It's always interesting. I feel like the mental health journey, we like find ourselves in different chapters of it all the time. I feel like in terms with loss and grief, it was such a long chapter that really took me, 
I feel like over two years to come out of a pretty severe situational depression caused by that grief. And it sometimes the only thing for that is just time. Now my relationship with grief is so much more this place of being grateful for what I had, even though I'd much rather have them in my life still. I'm able to remind myself that as much as I miss them, I'm so grateful that I had them. And it's not just a forced thought now, it's actually a reality. So our conversation three years ago really actually changed my life. You shared that grief can transform you from feeling like you're gonna be bitter forever about it to like transform you in the most beautiful way. And I think in that moment, I was very much still in bitter. Mm. And when we had that conversation, it gave me so much hope that I'm like, okay, I can get through this. I'm gonna to get to a point where this is, this is transformative. And a huge part of, of me healing through my grief was therapy. Yeah. And I'm very, very open about how much I love my therapist. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we have the same therapist? Can I say that? <laughs> She's great. She's amazing. <laughs> what is your experience with therapy and how has it helped you? Therapy has been something that I now am super open about. I remember the first time I went to therapy, literally telling my roommates I was going somewhere else and like sneaking to therapy and being very ashamed also very scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. Eventually learned that like you don't have to prove anything in therapy. Like you are there to like it's a very normal thing. It's such a healthy thing and I've gone to therapy for so many different reason. Sometimes it's music business stuff that's too overwhelming or performance anxiety. It's been to go for grief and like healing through that. It's also been to go to talk about anorexia and to help me overcome my body shaming and body dysmorphia. So I've gone to therapy for so many different reasons. Now it's just like, oh, this is a part of maintaining myself the same way I change the oil in my car. I mean, I can't first. believe the amount of, of like, shame and fear and anxiety that about that first session. Yeah. And something that's so cool about BetterHelp is that they're so accessible because they're online. Yes. And you're able to text chat. If, mm. a, if a video call is too much, you can call on the phone. So there's, there's levels basically to accommodate whatever comfort zone somebody needs to be in to start. And I feel like for me, that might have helped me start sooner. Mm -hmm. It took me years of thinking about it before I actually did it. So how long were you thinking about doing therapy before you actually just like went for it. I, it was actually pretty quick for me because I kind of felt like I had no options. The big step for me was admitting that I had a problem, that oh my gosh, I finally admitted to myself that I'm extremely unhealthy, my mind is not is not a safe place right now. Admitting that I was anorexic was terrifying, you know, and also I think it would have taken me forever if I had felt like I had another option. One of the things I've heard from my friends is like they'll be like, oh I've tried therapy and it didn't work for me. And in, in a lot of ways I kind of think of like finding the right therapist, it's a little like dating. Yeah. Because yes, it like, it's very awkward at first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until you kind of let your walls down and you feel like you can trust them. So for anybody who is thinking about doing therapy and they're like just a little bit nervous, like what, what's your advice for them? My best advice is just to remember that I find a lot of comfort in realizing that my feelings are rational. But it's like reminding myself or reminding anyone that like you aren't alone in your struggles. You aren't alone in going to therapy and needing help. It's a very normal thing. But also you're not alone in being afraid. Oh, well, thank you so much for doing this with me. It means so much that you're so vulnerable and open about having these conversations. I think it's so helpful to hear from people like you that have like such a cool life that it's like, no, you still are dealing with being a human at the Absolutely. end of the day. It makes the idea of something like therapy a little bit more accessible. Absolutely, and as well, thank you for always being so vulnerable with your music, with your art, with your stories that you share too. Thank you. Sisters in therapy. Sisters in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> If you're curious about therapy, or like me, you've been thinking about it for years and you just haven't committed, I highly recommend trying BetterHelp. Therapy has changed my life in so many ways and still to this day helps me navigate the ups and downs of life. BetterHelp is already super affordable, but if you use my link, betterhelp.com Madeline, you get 10% off your first month. It's super easy to sign up for. Here's how you do it. 